What's up and welcome back. Nick up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee in today's test drive. This 1963 Ford Falcon 302 under the hood. Looks like it's got an AC compressor, aluminum radiator, electric fan. Does not have power brakes, but it does have power steering. Aftermarket wheels. A pretty cool color. Check out detailed pictures of maplemotors.com. Financing shipping is available. And if you hit subscribe, you can see content that we put out every week of American muscle cars. We only post new ones on Monday, guys. So 10 to 15 cars every Monday on that website. Let's see what we got going on. Got to pull the lever. Shutter is a little bit difficult there. I'll show you towards the end of the video when we're picking out the flaws of why that it was hitting. For now, sit back, relax. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Before we take off on any test drive, we'll look around the interior and check everything out. Place those bets. Do you think the horn works on this one? It's a game we like to play. Door panels have been upgraded. The seats are nice and comfortable. Plenty of room. Package tray back there. Looks pretty good. Headliner in this one is nice and tight all the way across. I don't see any slack. You got your light there that's not cutting on. Your visors. They don't look too bad. This seat's kind of slouchy. It's comfortable. Carpet could be tightened up. See, it's older. Custom console. Looks like you keep some stuff cool in there, don't it? Make a cooler. All right, let's try to start her up. Starts up nice and easy on this one. Coming up on the dash, I've seen the gas gauge come up to about half a tank. Water temperature starting to come up. It is showing 6,645 miles. You know you can't stand behind that in a 63 model. Gauges have been changed out. Oh, pressure is up to 45. And nobody hooked up the alternator gauge, so it's not going to charge on the gauge at least it is on the car don't worry about that lights you can see them popping up there turn signals left side right side left side again <laughs> wipers there we go yep they're working oh gotta play that game once they get to the bottom cut them off ac i just felt the compressor pulled down on the motor i don't know if it's cold yet but we'll leave it on it's blowing very hard up hear that in the, the microphone there but what about the horn did you place your bets nope nobody hooked it up speakers in the kick panels both sides let's hit the road chance for buns and drives so this is not cold at all but it's not hot it's like right in the middle like it needs to be charged it actually feels good because it's pushing pushing humid air at me instead of me just sitting in humid air I'll open this window get a little bit of the original AC kicking and then I'll do that on the other side once I have y'all uh, on the head cam let's head out of here this is the first time me driving this ride this is how it goes on every test drive I get to know the cars with you good deal pass and we're ready to go all right let's do it that's good heading on down the road here and pretty straight it's not pulling left or right at all do got a little bit of slack this has a low gear in it also had a shift kit get into the brakes a little bit of a left pull there not bad could just be some dust get into the throttle again kick down's not hooked up let's try manually it's not gonna do it still got plenty of power even though that kick down is not hooked up can't bring it down past drive. Speedometer was coming up on the dash. AC never got cold. We're just going to cut it off. The seats are 
flying way back on this one. If you're pretty tall, you'd have a lot of room. That sure sounded like kick down to me, didn't it? Yeah, that's all the way forward. Look, it goes back more. <laughs> I think somebody tall owned this car before we did. that gas gauge goes it just dropped down to E and it's not showing that we have any so I'm 100% going to the gas station right now I'm gonna put about $20 worth of fuel in it just to make sure that that gauge is correct I don't trust it not when it's cutting off and on like that the car sounds awesome it feels nice and tight okay Let's pull over here in the shade on pump number three. I'll be right back. All right, 25, 35. That's what, how much gas I put in this. About six gallons. And you put it in the back, right in the middle. Coming on up here, we'll check the gas gauge again. Like I said, when we left a lot, it was like half a tank and then it dropped down to nothing. Like it cut off. And of course, when we cut it back on here, now it's coming up. Now it's on the full mark. I don't know. I think the gauge is just cutting out. It's kind of intermittent. All right, let's go. Welcome back. Heading on back to the lot now. Got you all on the head cam. This is GoPro 8. You can see in the description below what I use. Also pick up some merchandise from us. We got t-shirts and stuff uh, that I've been putting out here lately. Engine temperature on this one's on the low side. I mean, it's like 160. I just did picking out the flaws too, and I'm gonna put that at the end of this video, so stick around for that. And I think we're gonna get stuck behind a school bus over here, so different route. There's no random noises, shakes, or rattles. Suspension on this one's decent. And 
And this is a rough road. I mean, if you look down, there's patches everywhere. You'd definitely be able to hear some stuff moving around if it was. Getting into those brakes, we're getting into them decently hard now. It's stopping fast. Good power. She's not smoking or anything, running real clean behind us. it back around nice little alternative route here guys still staying nice and cool got good oil pressure running down the road i mean we're almost 45 50 on the oil pressure engine temperatures 160 165 We're coming down the hill now towards the car lot. This is definitely a lower geared car. It's not meant for the highway. So you could probably run around 60 up there, but I wouldn't want to do it for a very long time. I'd just do it in short bursts. But no problem doing 40, 50 mile an hour anywhere you want to go. Let's go ahead and pull back in the lot here. Again, thank you for watching. I'll be going in here and picking out another car for another test drive so you're informed. Look at the detailed pictures, maplemotors.com, and uh, I'll see you later. Stick around, picking out the flaws coming up next. All right, guys, picking out the flaws. Let's go ahead and get started here. Oh, almost forgot. Got to turn off the headlights in this one go coming around the front portion here any chips scratches rust whatever i see i'll show you it's got a big spot here in the front got a hazy grill spots up in there and down this side lower portion tires look good up and over the fender A little flat there. Got a chip. Bubbles right here in the fender well. Back to midsection, there's a chip there. A little spot on the paint. Midsection looks great. Back over your top. Bro, 
front windshield on this one is nice and clean. I don't see any chips. The seal looks like it's been replaced and the trim is also nice and clean. A little bit of pitting on your mirror there. The crack here. Some dirt. Back window, you got a scratch right here in the middle. Seal looks good around the window. Trim looks good. Your pillar. A little bit of pitting at the bottom. Seal down here in the vent window looks good. Got some bubbles down here in the bottom of the pillar. Also up here at the top. Going down the trunk lid. I'm up to the back. Back bumper looks good. Little chip there. Where's that? Oh, it's some dirt. Cracks right here. And of course, I want to go ahead and try to open the trunk. Hopefully, there's not a whole bunch of keys. No. Oh. I'm just gonna go with the first one. Let's see. There we are. Trunk is open, the jams. Look pretty good. Down on the bottom here, mat's a little dirty. But underneath it, Looks awesome. You do got some overspray and you got some little rust popping up there, cracks in this paint. But for the most part, it's not too bad up in your package tray. Okay. Be putting that back in there in a moment. Seal around the trunk, looks good. Coming down with it. Shut's easy. Coming down this side, over porch chip there chips along the edge of that door little spot there in the front also here and back your midsection wax left over chip right here on the edge of the door right here in the middle as well spot there up over the top looks like you got some chemical peel up here in your pillar bubbles under the paint trying to come through The roof itself looks pretty good. Chip there. You see some chips down in that jam there. A little bit of pitting on your chrome here. Scuff in the middle of the window. <coughs> Trim looks good. We made it around this ride. Let's go ahead and check out the inside and get this thing started up.
door panel has been replaced on this one. Some of the edges there, a little faded. Seal around the door looks decent. New jams, not too bad. The seat looks good. You are leaned back here, and I just realized something. Huh, there we go. Now I won't be so far back. Seat looks good. Package tray and headliner all are clean. Sound. So put that new latch in there that's what was getting stuck when I was shutting it earlier take this and squeeze it come below it and the hood will shut down easy good spring in it too a little bit of bubble in there in the front what I call chemical fill trash under the paint before it was painted you got it in random little spots on the hood. Not everywhere. Guys, I appreciate you watching. This thing checked out pretty well. Runs and drives good. It's got a great look. I gotta put the mat back in the trunk. Go to maplemotors.com for financing, shipping, detailed pictures. And of course, I do this all the time. And with your help, I can keep doing this all the time. So hit subscribe and share this video. For now, thank you. And I'll see you in the next one later.